Hey everybody, it's Ozone, and we are back in the world of Vintage Story. And uh, I think my little creeper guy is still out there. In the last episode, at the very end, I saw what the, was making the wonderfully scary noises. And uh, yeah, we got into a little fight, and it hurt. I'm at half health. But I'm ready to go this day once again. I need to do a lot of stuff. But I want to find out, is it safe? Is it safe? Kind of looks like it is. So today I need a new knife. I need to do a lot of collecting and this little knife isn't going to cut it. The other thing I found out, and this is kind of interesting, is that you can go ahead and stack uh, planks. You can stack your, your, your wood. So that's great. I don't have to like store it anymore. At least not on me. I'm going to make a, uh, a probably a couple knives i think uh because i intend to do a lot of harvesting all right so the agenda is reeds for storage inside as well as sticks and grass to be able to work and uh get these get these kilns going so let's get going well i am starving literally starving i managed to kill two rabbits um but can i i need to eat the meat but it won't let me no no, it won't let me. I managed to pick up some onions, though. And so let's eat those real quick. Oh, my gosh. I didn't realize how low I was on stamina. Wow. So it looks like my first order of business is actually to cook up this meat. So I think I can do a... Yes, I can take off some logs. And I can add the logs to the fire in order to get it going once again. Uh, oh, I've already got a torch in my right hand. Oh, well. And I think now, yes, I'm cooking up these cattail roots. Uh, at least I think I am. Food is actually a really, a really big problem for me right now. And I don't think it's really going to get any better. I am starting to get some kills. I've got some of this rabbit meat and poultry meat, which will be really good. Because a varied diet can actually make a big difference. If you eat just the same stuff all the time, uh, it'll actually, you won't do as well. So yeah, you need a variety of stuff to eat. So I'm got, let's get this stuff cooked up and, uh, and then I can actually get out and do what I need to do, which is collect more stuff. Yum, yum, yum. Well, I'm, I'm still hungry a little bit, but it's certainly better. Okay, well, up over this way, when I was out looking the other day, I saw quite a bit of uh, cattails. And so that is going to be a focus for right now. And hopefully I'll find some food along the way, too. We've got a lot of things that are growing here, but have not yet matured. These um, should hopefully help me get some sticks, but they're not really, they're not really yielding anything right now. Hey, there's a stick. Need those, too. Well, off to get a bunch of cattails. Let's go. Aha! This is the area that I remembered seeing. So many good cattails, and this will be this will be really important. Hopefully I can get enough to make another couple of these reed chests. Well, time to get to collecting. Yeah, 40? <laughs> Maybe at least a couple chests. That'll be really nice. I gotta be honest, it's looking dark and overcast and I can't really tell what time it is. I don't really like being down here, but it's this dark. And I'm a little afraid that the bad guys are gonna come right back. So I'm gonna head back. I did get quite a good supply of uh, cattails and that'll be really great. But yeah, we gotta make it home. Well, this nice big supply of cattails should go a long way toward helping out the storage situation. It's going to definitely take uh, quite a few iterations, but it'll be worth it. It will be worth it to have this extra space. Ah, oh, feels so much better. Oh no, they're back. It's going to be another long night stuck inside. And my hunger, well, my hunger is not doing so well. I cooked up and ate up all the meat. Um, but uh, yeah, today's goal, today's goal was to get some storage, which I did get here, which was really great. But oh my, I don't want to listen to that again all night. 
And the other nice thing is I did get enough materials that I can get the other three kilns going. Now I'm going to have to be really careful and not walk over them. But at least we can get our pottery going. Why did I die? Oh, I took damage because they made these, these things. Yeah, it's spreading. Oopsie. Oh no, it looks like my bed is on fire. It, ah! I'm on fire. I'm on fire and I'm not doing good. I'm trying... No, get out of my bed. I don't want to get in the bed. I want to break the bed. Oh my goodness. Well, again, mistakes were made. I think the best thing to do is just go to sleep. I'm doing bad on health and hunger, but... I don't want to be here right now. So we'll see you in the morning. Oh, it's another beautiful day and the growling has stopped. I managed to find a supply of red currants in my baskets. I didn't really realize I had them, so I'm doing okay on Satian right now. I also walled off my kilns over here to uh, keep me from walking into them. But yeah, food is still a big issue. What are we going to do today? It's a nice, it's a lovely looking day. I wish I knew how to stop the things from coming around and bugging me all night. I think it's just light, but I don't really know. So maybe I'll work on putting down some torches around my house and then they won't come near me next time. I don't really know. But I want to find work on finding more stuff that I can plant in the garden. And uh, don't. I saw lots of vegetables around as I was going around, but I didn't collect very many seeds. But now, now it's time to work on getting some more seeds, it looks like. And more rocks. You can never have enough flint, it seems. Ah, look, here we are. We got some more turnips. I need to break those, collect the turnips themselves, and the seeds, so we can go plant it back on the field. Which isn't too far away. The more stuff I can plant, and get close to my home, the better off I'll be. Because I don't have to keep going out and looking for it all the time. Oh my word. What the heck? That looks... That looks like death right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to do that anytime soon. Oh, we've got a ruins here. Uh, it doesn't look like there's very much to it. But yeah, this is a remnant of the previous civilization that was destroyed in the apocalypse. Uh, you can sometimes find like pots that have give you stuff and uh, and other stuff. These I've seen that these can be quite big, but this is quite small. Interesting. Well, we'll have to keep an eye out for more of those. Oh. This is, I guess, some temporal instability, I think. Uh, looks pretty cool, but also very dangerous. Huh. It doesn't seem like it's coming for me. Oh. I really don't know what that's going to do. But, yeah, I don't want to touch it right now. <laughs> Definitely not. Well, I did okay um, collecting some things. I've been collecting these currant bushes and cranberry bushes and all of the things that I've been foraging from. I collect them and I'm bringing them back to the house so that they can grow and I don't have to go looking for them again. This will be huge when it comes to uh, trying to grow, uh, keep the food supply going, you know? This will be amazing. Oh, but the weather is not great, and uh, yeah. Oh, I just hurt myself yet again. Great. I did also um, get some more seeds, and so we can add to the garden. So we got some flax seeds, and it looks like I'm gonna have to, you know, till up some more ground. But this is good. This is good. That means we're growing. Ah! Yeah, let's hope that we don't have any get problems with lightning, huh? All right, putting down some flax. It's looking nice. The garden is coming along. We definitely still need to learn how to do more. Well, we need to find more 
I haven't been able to find enough things to plant, but well, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm just focusing on surviving day by day. And speaking of day, it's ending kind of soon. So it's time to head back into the shelter. This time, as night comes in, I'm going to try putting a few torches around. I, if it rains, well, they're going to get snuffed out. But I think, I think if I just do this, it will keep them dry. At least, that's my hope, anyway. So let's do that. Let's create a few torches, get some light around the place, and I think that will help a lot, go a long way to keeping the bad guys out at night or away so that I don't have to listen to their constant growling. For now, it's time to get buttoned up inside. See if I can find something to keep me but busy. I wonder if my uh, I wonder if my stuff is done. Two of the fire pits are done. Very nice. So we got a cooking pot here. Oh, did those just finish too? Those just finished too. All of my cooking pots are done. Yay! I guess. Yeah. Now I can cook multiple things in the cooking pot on the campfire. Now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> well, not really. We're still cooking with logs. And I got to find more things to add to the cooking pot. I guess I didn't really need to make four. But uh, you know what? Maybe, maybe a bowl. Maybe some bowls will be a good thing. So let me do some pottery and make some bowls. You know what? This really makes me wonder if I could have fired all four of these cooking pots in the same kiln at the same time. I think so. I think it's another case of mistakes were made. I'll have to try it out when it comes to the next batch with my bowls. So let's get started with some pottery, I guess. All right, nice. I got four bowls now. Let's see if we can... Oh, yeah. Yeah, we certainly can. All right, well, let's let's get this kiln going. I could have saved myself so much material. Oh, well. Now we know. And now you know. Because, yeah, yeah, I made the mistake for you. Four bowls coming up tomorrow. I'm trying something else out, too. This is a storage pot. It says it's good for keeping grains and uh, I know we're going to have to hold things through the winter time. I don't really know how this works, but you know what? I've got plenty of clay. I've got time. So it seems like a good time to go ahead and try to make it. And you know what I don't hear? I don't hear any growling. I think it's nighttime. I honestly don't really know. It feels like it should be. But I think the torches are doing their job and keeping the what are they called the drifters at bay at least i'm gonna believe that for right now anyway well it looks like i spent the whole night in peace and making pottery but we're back at square one right where we always are in need of food yep uh, my satiety is really low again and i've used all the food that i had so it's time to head out even further and see if we can forage something new maybe i don't know I also want to try to kill some animals again as well. And well, I don't really see much changing over the next couple days. Uh, it's really just going to be about finding some resources, gathering as much as I can, trying to not starve, <laughs> finding food as much as I can. So how about a big resource gathering montage? Yeah, turn off. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Uh, though overall, it, things went pretty well. Things went pretty well. I got quite a bit of uh, cattails, and I went ahead and dug up the cattail roots because I went all the way over by the, the ocean. So on the map over here, I went into these hills and was in these this chain of islands, I think, over in here. 
So since I was so far away, I went ahead and grabbed the cattail roots because that's food. And you know what? Every little bit is helping right now. I also grabbed a whole bunch of cranberry bushes and currant bushes and stuff like that. And I'm going to be setting up, uh, adding a lot more to, of those around in the area here. And I found a few more seeds as well and got a couple kills and got some red meat. So this is this is all really good. Oh, we, get, we need to check on the, the fire pit. And it looks like we got one fire pit still going, but my big old pot here is in place. My storage vessel. And we can, oh, look at all that. 12 slots right there. That's nice. That's much better than the eight slots that I get with this basket. And I believe that they said it's really good for storing grains. And I've got a little bit of grain right there. So um, let's, let's put the grain in there. So it says, fresh for 6.4 years wow and wow maybe that's because of the the pot let me take that out and look fresh for 88 days yeah so freshness is something that we have to worry about in this game food spoils and apparently this this vessel this storage vessel is really really good at keeping things from spoiling nice well, it looks like I need to put all the rest of the stuff in there because I've got these raw hides, small raw hides that I got from the uh, uh, rabbits that I got from the rabbits, and uh, they're gonna they're gonna spoil too. I don't know what to do with these, but if I put it in the vessel now, okay, that that, that doesn't change it. All right, well, it looks like I better figure out what to do with these these small hides. Additionally, I've got my four bowls over here that are all done. Um, what do I do with four bowls? Well, I don't really know. I think we can just set them down and, well, I'm sure we can use them somehow with the cooking pot, it would seem. But uh, exactly how to do something with that cooking pot is still a mystery. Well, that's an interesting trick. If I hoe the tops of my house wall, well, this part anyway, I can see outside and I can know whether it's night or day. I had thought that I had read that you could uh, right click something onto the wall and uh, it would stay there. But instead I've just kind of hoed some of the dirt in my house. But I don't really think anything can get through that small uh, section of, of soil there where we tilled it back and the block became less than a full block. So that's kind of an interesting way to get a, a safe window. At least I, I think it's safe. I hope it's safe. Anyway. An interesting thing that I found. Aha, that's what I was after, a tool rack. And there we go. Now I can put my hoe here because I don't really need to carry my hoe around with me all the time. The recipes are really simple. It's just uh, six sticks across like this, and that's how we make the tool rack. There's also a whole bunch of other things. Like, can I make a ladder? I want to make ladders. Because next thing I want to do is I start want to start making some pit traps. So basically, I want to dig some two by two pits and hope that some wild animals will fall into them. One that'll make the animals either easier to kill, or maybe maybe I can actually start breeding them and starting some animal husbandry. So, but I need to be able to get in and out of those two by two holes. So that's what the ladders are for. That's, that's kind of the next step. I think I'm doing pretty well on the food front and on the, the growing front and trying to sustain my life here. Now it's time to, to grow a little bit and start some, some real farming, or at least, well, that's what I want. I also want to go out and get some peat because I found some of that before. And I also want to go out and get some fertile soil because as we, can, as we see all, all around here, if I look at it, it says low fertility soil, which you know, we'll grow stuff eventually. But if I can find some fertile soil, well, that'll help me to grow things even faster. And uh, I think that sounds like a really good idea. So I'm gonna be searching for some fertile soil in the next couple days, as well as digging these animal pits. I also found that I can make a trap by using one of these reed chests and a stick then I can make a trap and all I need to do is put something in there to bait it and that will also help me to capture some animals of some kind. So I like the idea of that. Let's go ahead and make the reed trap and I'll try to set that up outside somewhere. I think I just need to take a little bit of grain with me in order to 
use as a bait. I'm just learning all kinds of stuff. But I think, oh, it's daytime. Look at that. Wow. And I didn't hear any more growling last night either. Time to go harvesting once again. And my efforts for collecting food, 31 of these cooked cattail roots. Uh, well, that might last a day. That might last two days. But I am gl so glad to have at least a decent supply of food at the moment. You know, I just saw a hare run onto this little island in the middle of this lake. I'm going to go ahead and try to kill it. But I also want to set the trap right there. Weirdly, the, the water is both a help and a hindrance to us. Wow, there's there's actually a lot of hares in this area. So I think, actually, I'm going to set it up right here. Sounds like a good plan. Let's hope it works. So I think if I just set the trap right there, yes, and then... Okay, I right-clicked it with the wheat, or the, the flax grains, and it's in there and baited. So if I come back and the lid is closed, well, then we've got something. Okay, here's hoping. The boar right here. Oh, um, interesting. I mean, I'm trying. I think it might get me. I'm already really hurt. It, it fought back, definitely. I can't, man, that's got a ton of hit points, apparently. Where is it at? The hard part about combat in this game is that you have to time it, and you have to uh, account for the drawback and everything. And apparently I don't move while I'm drawing back and re preparing to fire. Or stab, anyway. I've lost it. Dang it. Ah, and it hurt, man. It really hurt. But it also has a lot of hit points. I don't know the, whether I really got it badly or not. I don't know how much damage I really did to it. But I was, I, I guess it's worth a try, though. Well, it's once again nighttime, and I didn't get as much done as I wanted to after all. I did get a couple of the pits uh, laid out, and I did get a whole bunch of the currant bushes planted, and uh, I got an area leveled out. So I, I'm, I'm getting there. I, I, unfortunately, because it's nighttime, I can't really show you what's going on now, can I? But before I call this an episode, I really want to figure out this cooking pot. And I think I've done enough research to be able to do it. So first, I got to pick up the pot and add it into the fire pit like so. And so once it's heated up, we can start cooking stuff. So the first two items in this thing will determine what kind of cook thing you're going to cook. And it says it will create one serving of red meat stew. And we have a little progress bar here. So two meats will make stew. If we have some to, if we have two grains, that will make porridge. And at the end of it, it, it stays in the pot. We need, we need these bowls on the other side in order to fish it out. And I can double up. I can add more meat, and it will make more servings that will stay in the cooking pot. But for now, let's, uh, let's grab a bowl and wait till this is done. All right, so we right-click it with the bowl, and now all of a sudden I have a bowl of meat stew and if we look at that look at that it has 840 saturation i mean that is huge that is absolutely huge the cranberries that i've been surviving off of have been giving me like 30 or 40 saturation the cattails will give me 100 saturation so 800 saturation from one item is really really amazing but <laughs> the temperature is going down and it says it's perishable uh, unfortunately, I did eat a bunch of stuff and I'm not hungry now, but I am really glad to have figured out how to make the cooking pot work because I struggled with it, honestly. Initially, I did struggle with it because there are four slots here and you only need two items in the two slots in order to make something. But if I were to put in some two proteins right here and then add some vegetables, it will add even more saturation to the output. But this, 
This is the best meal I have seen in days. And I absolutely feel like we're starting to get somewhere in this game. Yippee! I am so happy to have this kind of progress, honestly. Now I also want to do a little bit of a test. This thing has a few items in it. And if I try to pick this up or break it, does it stay as one piece? No, it does not. All of the items spew everywhere, which honestly is what I was expecting. But I was really hoping that I could just pick up the whole chest and move it and not have to and not have to move the individual items. Because I am thinking about relocating. The planes have been providing for me very well, but they're also a little boring. And I want to, I, I don't know, I was just thinking about going somewhere else. Oh, well. Well, now we know. But it looks like it's another beautiful day. And again, one spent in peace through the night. So in between episodes, I'm going to keep harvesting and uh, keep trying to build up the area around the farmstead here. But let me know what you think. Are you enjoying this series? I think it's pretty cool. And I'm really, really enjoying the challenge and the just the wonder and awe of exploring a brand new game. So leave a comment down below. If Are you thinking about playing a game like this? Do you find it interesting or boring? Inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> All right, well, until the next episode, remember, be excellent to each other. I'm out.